A lot of emotions going on, um, for sure. Uh, just just since there was a little rough patch with TFC, I wasn't playing that much. So uh, to come in here and have the the trust from all the teammates um, and the coach and and the score is it was amazing, honestly. Thank you. It sounds like there, it, it was a, a little bit hectic getting here and you just started training with the team. Can you kind of walk us through this week and, and your preparation for the match and then when you found out you were going to start? Yeah, since day one, uh, coming, the guys have been uh, amazing. Um, and honestly, a few sessions in, I had a slight feeling that I was going to start just kind of with the formations we were doing. Um, but I didn't want to get ahead of myself um, until the, the day before. And that's kind of when I knew when we were doing set pieces. And I was like, all right. But I didn't want to tell anyone, just kind of keeping it low key. Uh, I just told my girlfriend and my parents. But yeah, it was amazing. Hey, Jacob, it seemed like, you know, when you were, especially in those attacking moments, you know, getting in the possession and taking those one on one v one chances, it seemed like you had an understanding of playing with CJ, playing with Hani. And taking some chances yourself. Can you talk about your comfort? You know, was, was that something that was instinct, or was it as the game happened? Um, so for myself, I've always grown up as a heels on the side uh, sideline winger. Um, so they, they that's what they want for me. So it's it's kind of like a, a weight off my back. So I'm, I'm back to my old roots. Um, so I'm just doing what I know, um, and it's just it's amazing. And Hani's amazing. CJ's amazing. So you play with those guys, and it makes everything uh, much easier. I mean, if somebody would have told you that uh, you were going to be starting this game and, start, and scoring a goal and all that and, and winning a game by 4 nothing, what would you have said before the game? I wouldn't know what to say, honestly. Um, it, it, a dream start. I don't know if I could have even dreamed of, of how well the, uh, well tonight went. Um, you know, I have my girlfriend in the crowd, too, to, so to have her here. Um, and I've actually never scored live in front of her, so it's, it was a really cool feeling. Um, so hopefully I can get my parents out for another game and, and, and do the same. Uh, for the goal, um, I got the ball. I was driving. I saw Honey make a run, so I passed it to him. And I was I was gonna go for a return pass, but he was kind of doing his own thing, and and he just took a bit big of a touch, and I kind of just came in and took it from him. I guess I I was a little nervous taking it from, him, but it worked out in the end. And uh, yeah, it was, it was a great feeling. And, oh, and for the free kick, sorry, it, <laughs> it was uh, it was good. I was I was literally just about to pass the hand because I knew he was overlapping me on that side, and then I got tackled, but. Um, it feels good to, to be playing with those guys, and, and just the connection is, is coming along already, which is really good. We have time for one more question, and we're going to now go into the Zoom with Tim Sullivan. Tim? Jacob, you've played against Nashville before. What, what is it like, you know, I guess seeing, uh, especially a guy like Hani from the other side where you're on his team and, and you're his teammate, what sort of, I guess, special talent do you see out of him? Um, the first goal, I was, I was a little bit mind blown. I didn't even think it went in. You know, I was making a run near post, and he decided to shoot, and I kind of looked and went in. And I was like, well, I didn't even know what just happened there. So that stuff's crazy to me still, and, and just how he sees the game is, is amazing, um, especially for a guy like me who likes to make runs in behind. Um, having that guy on your team is, is like a dream. So um, I'm looking forward to the games ahead and, and playing with him.